Has the July 2015 agreement between Iran's ayatollahs and the permanent members of the UN Security Council and Germany moderated the ayatollahs, not according to a June 2016 study by Professor Eldad Pardo of Iranian K-12 school textbooks, which are the most authentic reflection of the mission, strategy, tactics, character, worldview, and general direction of rogue regimes such as the Ayatollahs. Moreover, the education system of the Ayatollahs has become an effective production line for terrorist and suicide bombers. Iran's school curriculum reflects the strategy and tactics of the Ayatollahs more authentically than speeches, interviews, and diplomatic statements made by Iranian President Rouhani and Foreign Minister Zarif, who have mastered the art of the Quran-sanctioned takiya, double talk, and deception-based statements and agreements aimed at shielding the believers from the disbelievers to be abrogated once conditions are ripe. The July 2015 agreement between the US and Iran rolled back severe anti-Iran sanctions, but the Ayatollahs were not required to roll back their hate education, which depicts the US as the arrogant, idolatrous, modern-day crusader, infidel, oppressor, great Satan. This is documented by Professor Eldad Pardo of the Hebrew University and the Institute of Monitoring Peace and Tolerance in School Education, who has researched Iran's school textbooks for the last 11 years. For example, in a sixth grade textbook, child martyrdom is revered in the little leader, grade six, pages 58 through 64. The martyrdom of girls has recently been introduced into the curriculum in Defense Readiness, grade 10, pages 59 through 63. Students are instructed to join a frenzy of training and preparation, be in a state of constant emergency with blind obedience and actual participation in conflicts at home and abroad in Religion and Life, grade 12, page 124. Iranian students study about dissimulation, takiya, and misleading the U.S. enemy. They learn that in times of need, dissimulation and temporary pacts, even with ungodly, idolatrous governments, are proper, but only until such time as the balance of power should change. In Religion and Life, grade 12, pages 103 to 104. We know from Khamenei's own words that the recent nuclear negotiations followed the pattern of an historical treaty with an illegitimate government, which was concluded in 661 CE between Imam Hassan and Caliph Muawiyah, intending to gain time build power and gradually undermine the rival dynasty, but never genuinely reconciling, leading to the fateful battle of Karbala two decades later in Religion and Life, grade 12, page 104. Iran's curriculum stipulates the need for jihad, child martyrdom, and inevitable sacrifices are intensively and vividly inculcated into young minds. Education for child martyrdom continues, beginning with the first grade all the way to grade 12. Iranian girls and boys are educated to go to war at any moment, taught to see the world as overflowing with enemies of the revolution who resist the true program of God, preparing Iranian children for the Ayatollah's sublime goal, the apocalyptic, horrifying military battle against the great Satan, the USA. The students receive much instruction about the martyrs from the 1980-88 Iran-Iraq war. 500,000 children 
who cleared the minefields for Iran's troops. According to Robin Wright, in her book, Sacred Rage, The Wrath of Militant Islam, published in New York by Simon Schuster, page 37, they led the way, running over minefields to clear the ground for the Iranian ground assault, wearing white headbands to signify the embracing of death and shouting, Shahid, Shahid, Martyr, Martyr. They literally blew their way into heaven. According to an August 2013 book by Iran's foreign minister, Muhammad Zarif, Mr. Ambassador, a conversation with Muhammad Zarif, the U.S. is the chief target of the wrath of the Ayatollahs because it constitutes the most effective obstacle on the Ayatollah's megalomaniacal road to Islamize the global order and subjugate humanity to their agenda. Zarif wrote, We have a fundamental problem with the West and especially with America because we are claimants of a mission with global dimension. Reaching a constructive agreement with the Ayatollahs requires a dramatic transformation of their school textbooks, which reflect the clear and present threat posed by the Ayatollahs to the USA. On the other hand, reaching an agreement with the Ayatollahs while the current school textbooks, strategy and tactics are in place, could start the countdown to the first ever nuclear war. Therefore, the US Congress should conduct a series of hearings on the cost of adherence to the July 2015 nuclear agreement, while the Ayatollahs do not roll back their anti-US curriculum and policy. The next video will highlight the 400-year-old foundations of the covenant between the US and Israel.